All right, guys, so today we have the pausing push jerk. All right, so here's what the pausing push jerk looks like. I've got my barbell here. I'm gonna pause, and then I go into my jerk. I'm gonna pause, and then I go into my jerk, all right? Um, how long do you pause for? About one to two seconds, all right? It doesn't need to be super long and dramatic, but it does need to be a definitive pause, like you're at a stop sign, cop is at the other stop sign, and you uh, make sure that you come to the full way, uh, to the full stop before proceeding, okay? Um, now, why are we doing this? One, balance and coordination um, with that pausing push jerk. It's gonna work on that. Uh, two, we wanna make sure that when we go into that dip, that we are keeping our torso or our chest up, and we're not dipping and leaning forward uh, like so, all right? Um, next, this is going to um, um, make it a lot more difficult to create power and force, all right? So when I do it from this uh, top position, I can create a lot more power and force, uh, whereas when I'm already down in this position, it makes it a lot more difficult, all right? Um, and then finally, this is just another uh, stimulus or another way that we can train the push jerk without asking you guys to put a lot more weight onto the barbell, all right? One more thing, I wanna make sure that when we, that we do this correctly and that when we do that pausing push jerk, that we pause and we hold for one or two seconds and then we go into that push jerk, that we are not pausing and then going into another dip and then trying to go into our push jerk or doing our pause and then standing up real quick and doing a push jerk, all right? That's not the purpose, that's a totally different movement. We wanna make sure that we are here, pause, and then do your push jerk, all right? Uh, so have fun with this one. It'll, it should be a good one to help train uh, those hips and make them more explosive.